Purim, the miracle of Purim happened when the Jews were, you know, they almost died, they were almost wiped out, and they repented. It was a very serious, um, a very serious time, and they and they repented, and that's when they were saved. So he wants to know why we celebrate Purim with eating and drinking and merriment. We should celebrate it like like uh, with a very serious, uh, uh, you know, repentance and stuff. He wants us to like take away. He wants to unplug the whole Purim. Well, we do that, Tana Sester, the day before Purim, we fast and we pray and we do tshuva. Less like we say Rav Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, the same type of prayers we say Yom Kippur and slichas. All the days of awe we say on Tana Sester, the day before Purim. So we're doing that also. We start off with with this, what the gentleman or gentle lady is saying, that. Uh, uh, we do that Erev Purim, and we, and we show that we're doing tshuva, and uh, we want to, to bring back what they did then, tshuva, we're doing tshuva also. And then we celebrate also because of the great miracle that happened. So we're, we're doing exactly what that person is saying, and, uh, but we want to celebrate too for the great uh, 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 knowing, knowledge that God's so close to us and He loves us so much and watching over us. So that's the time for joy. So we have to have both. We have both of them. We're, that we're, we're, we're busy ourselves with both of those uh, aspects. On one hand, fasting and praying and tshuva. On the other hand, rejoicing and thanking and dancing and singing for the great miracle that God did for us.